Hey, this is Jenny Jones, Digital Growth Hacks Club. Here to listen. Got a tool I want to put in front of you. Um, it's called Keyword Search. Um, if this is your first time to this channel, please go ahead and like and subscribe. I'm always trying to find different tools, different hacks to try to help you increase your bottom line. Listen, um, this is a tool. It's not getting much love, and I don't know why. I And if you follow me, if you follow my channel for any length of time, you know I'm kind of a unicorn tool freak, right? One thing that you'll notice, this is a tool that does research, a lot of YouTube research, mostly geared towards research in the YouTube ad space, right? But I'm a type of person, I'll take a tool, yeah, I see what it's intended for, but can I pair it with something else and make it even that much more powerful with the information that it gives me? So this is a particular tool um, that they have now. And one of the things you're gonna find out about this tool is it's kind of a tool that if you were to um, follow, or if you've been on YouTube in any in more than a day, you'll probably see an ad from uh, Alaric Heck, right? And um, he looks like a professor, kind of a nerd, but Anybody that looks like a nerd and a professor, you might want to kind of listen to him. I think he's done a very good job in what he done, what he has done. I have taken his, I've taken one of his um, courses before. He has a lot of clout. He can, he can break down this ad thing pretty well. He's kind of dialed it in. Is he the best? I don't know, but I don't see anybody else out there killing it like he is, right? So he has his ad reach, ad outreach academy. He has. You can book a call and kind of do some things with them. But the only reason why I bring that up is because, well, he's kind of behind this tool, right? Him and a, a programmer, they kind of got together and um, they put together this actual tool called um, Keyword, right? And right now, if you were to um, take a look at it, um, right now it is available on AppSumo, um, in their lifetime deal. And it's not that expensive for you to take a look at it. And they have right now, they have three tiers. Um, uh, and I think the lowest tier you can get is for 69 bucks. But anyway, I only want to bring that up because I want to get into it. I wanted to tell you what, one of the major differences was, and maybe you should give this tool a little look now. So what I did was. I started playing around in a tool, right? And this is not a super deep dive, but it's definitely kind of familiarized with it and tell you some of the things that I like about it. Um, what you do is when first loads up, you come into your dashboard. I'm just doing some different searches here already. One thing I like about this, I do use other tools, right? I do use your Byte Play, I do use your VidIQ, I do use uh, TubeBuddy, because I'm a YouTube guy and I kind of want to get an edge. One of the things I do want to share with you is um, all of these uh, software companies have access to the same API. YouTube releases their API and it says, hey, this is our API. You can utilize, you can tap into some of these tools and some of these research tools that we have. They're giving you the same uh, research tools that you actually would find on your own YouTube channel. All right. And so only thing it is these are software these are people software developers that has tapped into you know your vid iq your two buddies they've just tapped into the api and just figured out how to display that information to us so no one is really no one has that information that we can't get or dig or go through and get on our own so let's get that clear but if you're going to make this information available to me and make it available to me in a user-friendly format then i need to take a look at that Right. And so the first we already talked about the first the first screen you load into is I think we talked about is the dashboard and the dashboard is only giving you um, the dashboard is giving you gosh, I either this is running slow or my system's running slow. I am running like five, like 15 different tabs open. So that could be it. I don't know. I haven't tested out the speed yet, but I know it is pulling a lot of data on the back end. I think it could be a little bit faster, though. All right, and so what I did, it gives you the recent searches. Let's go to hair care, let's go back to it. When I click on this, it's gonna take me automatically to this to this screen. So if I go back to my recent searches, I go back to hair, and you notice it took me to the uh, the search that I, I was gonna get ready to do already. 
So what it's doing is it's going in, and I, I'm just putting it here, care, right? I'm just trying to figure out what else is going on. And again, this is all on the system now because I've already pulled it. One of the things I like about what it does is it gives me a trend, right? It gives me a trend line on what's going on with the hair care. I did a better trend and I want you to see the trend that I did. I did a trend with AppSumo, right? And I'm going to pull that up so you can take a look at it. But it does give you a trend. So this is a visual, right? You in your own individual YouTube channel, you're not going to see these different trends. I don't know if you get a trend using vidIQ. I don't know if you get a trend line. I think you get some other stats, but I definitely don't think you get a trend. So you could see if there's some monthly trends going on, you might want to take a look at. And let me give you an example. And this is a drop down here. I don't I think maybe they're going to probably add maybe a Google or something like that. It would probably only logically be Google. But um, so let me show you how powerful. And then so what it gives you is it gives you hair care, but it also gives you related searches in that. Now, can you get this from your vid IQs and everybody else? Yeah, you can. Right. But can you get fine video placement? Can you get ads for this keyword? Can you find similar keywords? You can, but can you get ads for this keyword? Can't get that, right? And so, and then you can just go here and just the YouTube search, this just this basically places the word hair care into your search, uh, YouTube search, and it just brings you there. I'm not gonna go through that. I don't need to do that. Um, it has your related keywords and so on and so forth. Same thing here. These are just shortcuts here. All right, so let me show you, this is funny. Let me show you. Let's go app sumo here and let's do a search on that. And I just want to show you something. This, this is kind of funny. Um, it's something that I noticed and I wonder if anybody else noticed. But again, I'm always going to look for tools that I can mix and match with other tools. I picked up this tool. I like it. I'm a fan of his, of Mr. Herrick's. Um, but look at this trend i just wanted people to see this trend um is this the one that i wanted you to see no this is not the one i want what i wanted you to see was this trend of the AppSumo lifetime deal there's a trend and it looks like it's a quarterly trend like every three months and if you follow um AppSumo for any length of time you know either they're running quarterly sprints or they're running quarterly goals, which I don't know what other company would not do that, but they're trying to reach each these quarterly benchmarks. So you'll notice that they'll have an uptick every quarter or every, you know, whether it's the Black Friday, whether it's AppSumo Day, but they're running big major events in every one of their quarters. And this is just a trend when you see the AppSumo lifetime deal trend and it runs in these trends almost every three months so this is just i just thought that was pretty interesting but if you're a researcher if you're a numbers freak like myself you kind of have a tendency to get into these types of things and see what's going on so this is a trend for just AppSumo period so i'm letting you know that there are i like the fact that they give you uh trends i like the fact that they give you similar keywords right they give you different uh and they, they, they give you trends on them as well. Right. And so I think that's good. All right. So, all right. So here we go here. So we got that the big, uh, million dollar surprise. Actually, let's go back. Cause I want to give you one other sample of what I did. And I think it, let's go back. That was what I wanted to show you. I'll just put in hair care because for one, I don't have any hair. And for two, just wanted to show you what the power of the search would do, right? And so if we go back to hair care, again, look at hair care here, right? And so what you can see is this is hair care. This is a trend of the word volume hair care. What I wanted to show you was when we go to videos for hair care, you're going to see something different. And I wanted to run it against another tool and, and tell you what that what we think of that so let's go here to add spy which is this this is uh, if you get a tier three you get the add spy now the add spy is not a lot of tools can do add spy first of all let's just put it like this 
there's not a lot of cloud-based tools, right? You can name on one hand, maybe let, yeah, one hand of cloud-based research, YouTube research tools. There's a lot of plugins, but there's not a lot of SaaS tools. Um, so this particular tool here, it is uh, called AdSpy. And what they do is they kind of give you um, what kind of ads are running. So let me give you an example, right? Let's go here, let's go Shopify. And this is if you want to start running ads, where are you gonna land? What's gonna go on? They're giving you all the ads that Shopify is running. They're telling you right here, they could uh, show you the actual ad, right? And so this, if you use this on a small level, no way we would be trying to go against uh, Shopify. No way we're, you know, that's a five million pound gorilla, right? Um, so what you have is you have their landing page, you have their video, you can see it and you can see the ad views over time, right? You can see that, you can see the possible keywords that they're using, they're saying possible. So I don't know if you just want to pick up on that. And then you can see the other ads by this advertiser. This is if you're running against a small, if you're running against, you can use this if you're running against someone small, but this definitely works if you're running against someone as large as a, um, Shopify and where to compete, right? And so I use Shopify there, but I wanted to use someone smaller so you can get an idea. So let me, there's one, let's go, let's just, let's just pull it up. Just regular. So this is just regular advertisers that are advertising on here. And here's one that I saw this particular, oh, that's right. That he removed this video, but let's go and let's see this particular. So this is a small guy. I think he runs his insurance agency and I think he does insurance and he does, you know, collision or auto insurance or something like that. Um, this was just up yesterday. I don't know what happened with that. Um, but this guy runs these ads and it's like, if you looking for a new car, engine, automobile, he runs these ads he's running here. And this is a better look at one of his running ads. And this is a small, again, maybe a local advertiser, right? But this is the strength of his ad. You can actually see it right here, right? And um, when you come here, you can take a look at it. So this is a very good, I think the spy tool, I think if you're gonna get this tool, I would get the tier three, which has the spy tool included. And the tier three is 209. Tier two is 139, it gives you more pools. But the tier three is 209, it adds this ad spy, right? And so I just wanted to let you know what you can do with the ad spy, right? And so then you have your videos here, right? And so what the videos do, it, it tells you, um, let's see here. It takes a little while to load. That may be my system, I haven't truly tested this out yet. But if I want my video placement, I want to see where my video is going to place, right? I think that was what I wanted to show you was. So if I'm coming out with a video, this is what I wanted to show you right here. If I'm coming out with a video on hair care, and I was like, hey, I got a hair care channel. I want to come out with my video on hair care. It's going to tell you which video is ranking number one. I, I, I would love to see more stats in this because I think if I combine this with a vidIQ or a TubeBuddy, I can probably get a little bit more, but this is definitely something they put in here. But when I look at this hair care and I look at this video for views, this is ranking number one, right? It's not for views, but it's still ranking number one. So when you come here, when I look here and I put the same thing in for say a bite play, I get, I get the SERP, right? I get to go to the video. I get to see the video description here, right? I get to see the video description, right? I get to see the tags that they're using, right? This is all the things that I would love to see uh, in this tool. But one of the things that when you're doing cross research, there's uh, one of the top channels. These are the top channels. I think we, I ran across, I think Audrey Victoria, 3.9 million, right? That's who this person is right here. I think when we click here, 
I think that's who that is. It's Audrey Victoria, right? And so what you have here is you have, you can do some little research here when you take that tool and you combine it with this tool. I like what they're doing. I like where they're headed. Um, I do like that. And so you can see that. You can see what's trending here. You can see who has the most views. Again, I'm going to mix my tools. I'll mix and match that and do my own research, then figure out what type of video tools that's trending for me. Um, the next thing we have is uh, channels, right? Um, and this is does a YouTube channel search, right? Not going to get into that. One of the last things I wanted to, in collections is just some of the things that you save there, right? Um, so I want to get, actually, let me just put in hair care so you can see what happens since we're here. So you, nobody else comes back and says, Jenny, you were just there. You just didn't show it. So I'm going to show you, I'm searching hair care, the YouTube channel search. Those are videos. These are channels. Um, number one, rank number one for these videos, Jessica Clemens, wherever that is. These are the thumbnails. I think there's Brad Mom. Mondo, I think, does he come up here? Yes, he comes up here on by play. So again, you have to use your tools and what they give you and the strengths that they give you. Um, all right, so we'll go back. Yeah, so this guy, he's, yeah, I guess he's, I guess he's a pretty good YouTuber. I've seen he's ranked number two in videos. That's pretty good, right? And so you got to see what he's doing, right? And, um, it gives you the channel keywords and it gives you the channel. Um, you can sort by the, the channel uh, topic as well. So one last thing I want to do in collection is just the things that I've saved. I've hit the star and save next to this, save to that. So that's what that is. The next thing you're going to get is audiences. Again, you have to be someone that's either one going to get into YouTube advertising or you're not. This is one of the things, and I think Alex borrows from his side of the research. He's saying, listen, these are the types of ads you should run and where you should run them. Depends on what it is, where he's found the most success. Depends on what type of ads you want to run. So let's stay with our same theme. Uh, uh, let's stay with hair care. And what he's saying is you should run them underneath when you're doing your ads, because you'll notice if you're running YouTube ads, they ask you a lot of demographics. And what they're saying is if you're going to run, this is your topic. It should be beauty and fitness, hair care. And then what he's saying is these are the type of ads you should run video in and stream or video discovery or display. Don't run search. Don't run Gmail or don't run shopping. These are just his recommendations, right? And this is what they're saying is, hey, you want in market audiences, you want to run beauty products and services. Then you drill down and go hair care products and you can run across all the mediums. This is where you found them. This I think is this is pretty powerful, right? This is this has a lot of strength in it, I think, as a tool. Right. But I think if you run the ads, I think you can get away with a with a tier one. But what's going to happen is you're going to get to where you do start running ads because Ads on YouTube are pretty successful because they're more SEO driven and they're more uh, pool driven, right? You're pulling the information out and someone has found you. They found you in an ocean. They found you. Whereas push is kind of you're pushing your marketing on people. That's more of your Facebook and you're pushing ads on people. But I found my conversions to be me. I found my conversions to be a lot better. Depends on your service and or product. I found my ads to be a lot better and more effective on YouTube. So again, this has been Jenny Jones. You can take a look at keyword search. Um, should be a link in the description. If you liked what I did, if you like me drilling these down, and again, I'm only doing tools that I actually like and keep. There's a lot of tools out there. I may not even pick them up or I may pick them up and you won't even know, but if I don't do a video on them, it's probably pretty close that I don't have them or I don't own them or I don't have an interest in them, but I like different tools and again, the reason why I'm gravitating towards this tool is because, again, it is a SaaS tool that does YouTube uh, research and does ads. And I can see where the ads are playing. I can see where the demand is at. So maybe I, I want to put an ad out there and then have some of the demand for the ads to play over my particular channel. So there's a couple of different ways you can strategize this. And um, 
So again, it's located below. Again, um, tier three is the only one that's going to give you the ad spy. If you only get a tier one and tier two, you're not going to get ad spy. But I think ad spy is a good, I want to say ad spy. Is it worth an additional hundred bucks? Well, yeah, this tool sells for 97 bucks a month, right? So the pick up a lifetime deal for 209, you're paying for two months already in the, for a lifetime deal and you get the ad spy. I think if we're doing the numbers, I don't think that's bad, right? So again, you want to look at all the ads that Fiverr is running, right? You want to look at some of these other ads and the ones that they're running. They're in here. If you wanted to do a competitive analysis of should I run against this guy? Should I not? This guy, I think he does real estate. If I wanted to run against him, I can see what he's running. Yeah, he does real estate. I forgot about that. So yeah, but is there a trend on him? Yes, you bet. So again, you guys take care. Be safe out there. Goodbye for now. I want to do a head-to-head a -head against bite play. Let me know if you're interested. Comment below. Let me know if you want me to do that. All right. You guys take care. Bye for now.